Shields up, Iron Breakers, and good morning, everyone. Hopefully, you're all having a fantastic. What day is today? Thursday? I think it's Thursday, right? Am I correct? Am I correct in that assumption? Let me very quick. I'm at, I should check my phone. Yeah, it is Thursday. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I mean, good morning or good evening, wherever you happen to be out in the world. We're going to be playing some more Monster Hunter. I did do some stuff last night um, because I wanted to collect some things. So I got to admit, I got to admit, guys, I went to the Lava Caverns. I didn't do any progression quests, so to speak, but I did spend a significant chunk of time in the Lava Caverns grinding for some minerals. So some ore, even minerals or whatever. Oh, yeah. Also, damn it. I'm sorry. I forgot to do something. Sorry about the flashing screen. No, Rigo, what are you doing? My eyes, my eyes. It's because what the hell? Okay, there we go. I wanted to get a uh, YouTube chat because I forgot to put chat up. That was that was my bad team. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. I love you all. Do not be upset. There we go. It's just I'm a little bit uh, all over the place because the internet was a little bit wonky right before I started my stream. And usually that doesn't bode well because in Portugal, when internet starts going wonky, you know, you, you kind of screwed. But uh, yeah. Okay, we in there. We in there. So, what did I wanted to show you guys? Oh yeah, I wanted to show you how much I actually farmed. Dude, this was one run. I mean, not it was multiple runs in the same map, but like this was in one expedition. Check this out. Uh, for starters, let me grab like a regular loadout. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You have to go to sell items to actually see the stuff auto sorted. And yeah, look at that. We got 288 iron ore, 266 earth crystals, 222 macalite, and 112 dragonite. Okay? Also, 87 firestones. It's like, I just started running around the map and collecting in the lava caverns, and then suddenly there was an upsurge in mining nodes, and I was like, well, that's convenient. I didn't even do any of the camps, so I was like doing a very inoptimal farming route, but uh, yeah. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it, to it, as our as our old man Hojo would say. So what do we got? We got uh, key quests. One of the first ones that I would like to get to is actually Rathian, but we don't have like a proper charge blade for her. I'd be better off going with like... I'd be better off going with like a raw. Do I have a raw? This is... 100, one, this one still deals the most raw damage out of all of them. So I guess we'll take the, the poison one regardless. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Konnichiwa. We are going to do... I didn't do getting back the groceries. Wait, what? Oh yeah, the one that I did was this, the supply run. Because I remember doing one of these quests last night and I was like, I guess I did the other one. That's fine. So we're going to start things off with Rathian. Rathian's going to be very important for us because Rathian is going to unlock our first elemental charge blade. Okay. Hey, Andre. Uh, on PC, it feels great, dude. Silky smooth. Silky smooth. Buttery smooth. Really, really good. Don't you have the thunder one? No, not yet. I don't have any elemental charge blades yet. Uh, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna go? We'll do calculator, polisher, and I want trainer. I don't really care that much about training them, but sure. Why not? There's nothing that good. <laughs> Is it just me or does the full game run better than the demo? I don't know. I don't play I didn't play the demo that much. So yeah. We're gonna know super notes logging apple is lodging apple? Is it an inside joke? I never even noticed how I pronounce lodging apple. I guess I do say lodgy. Yes. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've never heard the official pronunciation because, like, listen, let me tell you. When it comes to Monster Hunter, until you hear the official pronunciation, 
doesn't matter how you pronounce it. Like everybody thought it was Tigrex and it should be Tigrex. And then Capcom comes out. It's like, no, it's Tigrex. I was like, what? Just like everybody thought it was Alatrion. Then Capcom comes out. It's like, no, Alatreon. And you're like, what? It's like you're constantly getting surprised. So I wouldn't be surprised if Lagi or Lagi and Apple. Which one's correct? So, yeah. Queen of the land, Rathian. Zach Mario, should I buy Rise for PC or Switch or wait for Sunbreak? Okay, so those are two questions. Let's start with the uh, Sunbreak question. Should you wait for Sunbreak? It depends on what is more valuable to you. Your time or your money depends on whether you can afford it, right? If you can only afford to buy one game this year, then for sure wait for Sunbreak because it's going to have like a Master Edition and you'll get all of the content. If, however, you can afford to buy both, then I would recommend you get Rise because you can get started working on it. There's over at least, I think bare minimum, there's like over 100 hours of content that you can do. So I'd recommend to get Rise. Now, should you get it on PC or on the Switch? I mean, the game works really good on both platforms, even though some people are like, oh my god, it's literally unplayable on Switch. I completely disagree. I played over 700 hours of the game on the Switch. I think it runs just fine. It, of course, it's not going to run as good as on PC, because right now you guys are watching the stream at like 1440p, 60 FPS, really, really good. Gaijin was playing the game at like 4K, 120 FPS. I'm playing the game in 4K, but I only get 60 because my screen's not that good, right? So, it's like, of course, it's better on PC, but it's not like it's bad on Switch. So, the way that I would answer that question is like, do you have friends on either of the platforms? Is portability a big deal for you? So, it's like, if you have more friends on PC, I'd get it on PC. If you have more friends on Switch, I'd get it on Switch. And if portability is a big deal for you, I'd get it on Switch. If portability is not a big deal for you, then the PC version is going to run better. So, you know, it's going to depend from person to person. Keep Officer Honks, time. thank you it's very so much for becoming grossly uncandid. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. <sighs> Let me see where she's actually hiding. She's going to be hiding from us. And listen, Rathian, I'm very sorry. I'm going to have to chop that ass. It is what it is, man. I'm going to have to chop that ass. It's, it's not my choice. It just needs to happen, baby. Where can you planning to play Sunbreak on PC on release, dude? That is the big, that is the million dollar question. We talked about that yesterday on the stream, and most people voted for me to play it on PC. It's like a lot of you guys would prefer that I would play it on the PC, and I have half the half a mind to humor you. But I will tell you that if it was just a personal choice, and if it wasn't for creating content, I would a thousand percent do it on the Switch, because portability is very important for me. But as a content creator, I get it. You guys get to watch, you know, like, better image, better FPS. I completely understand. I mean, I like the FPS as well, I'm not gonna lie. If my Switch could play this game at, like, this resolution, this FPS, really good. Obviously, it's better, but... It doesn't bother me as much as it bothers some people, I guess, is what I'm getting at. There she is. What you doing down there, Rathian? What you doing down there? Look at her. Hey, Transconservative Waifu. Hunting is good. It took too long to react to that one.
one evade extender is not enough. I'm not going to be able to dodge those sideways with one evade extender. I'm used to dodging that with my gun lance with three evade extenders. So I'll be like, hmm, I can probably dodge that. But not with the charge blade. And I'm not going to have... I don't think I'm going to have as much evade extender as I would like on the charge blade. I'm going to call BS on that one. Where you going, baby girl? Get back here. No, she's done. Okay, bye bye. Do you have any delays playing with controller? No. Do you guys have delays with controller? How's the port? The port's awesome, dude. Oh, I haven't applied the um I haven't put the null berries in there yet. I should do that actually. All menu settings, quests, shortcut one. Change that to no berries. Nope, not that. That. And that's that. That's done. That's done for the rest of Rise, pretty much. I'd have to change that again. I will have to make the second one with max potions for the more challenging stuff. Ow! Really? She's a big girl. Come on, girl, make my day. What? Oh, because she threw me off, I lost it? That's not very fair. you'll excuse me. I'm not hitting where I want to. Oh, I actually am. Never mind. There's the tail chop. <laughs> oh my god. The absolute decimation. The absolute disrespect! Aw, I was hoping you'd get hit by that sooner. Oh! The absolute greed! I can't believe it, I was so greedy there. That's my first cart. Rathian gets my first cart. I can't be Actually, I can't believe that happened. Really? Rathian? Of all things, Rathian is going to get my first cart. Pop my cart cherry. Well, you guys know what it's like. After you pop your, your cherry in the cart department, like that's it. I'm going to be carting the rest of the game nonstop. <laughs> all 
How are you feeling the charge blade so far? Incredibly fun. Incredibly fun. I mean, I almost didn't play it at all during, during like, the Switch version, so... I think by the time I played Charge Blade, I already had Axe Hopper, so I barely ever used the counter to begin with. So I'm still adapting to the counter. Where do you think you're going? Stop! Bitch! Really, you're gonna make me chase you throughout the whole goddamn map. Oh, well, tell you what. I need to kill Castadons anyway for the other camp. So I might as well get that out of the way. I'm just gonna slaughter a bunch of Castadons. Really, a scale from the tail? Not good. Okay. We need three more Kestodons and we'll be good. They fixed it since launch, apparently? I don't know. I mean, because in launch, I didn't feel it was that bad either. I remember the first time I used Axe Hopper and I was like, I don't know. This doesn't feel as bad as people are saying. It, it, the weapon never felt as bad as people were saying to me. So I, I don't know what to say. I'm not trying to invalidate everyone's uh, complaints. But I'm just saying, like, then again, I didn't play it enough, which is why I was like, okay, this time I'm really going to play it because people are saying it's poo-poo. But so far, so good. You want to do warring? You want to see warring lands? Sure. I, I guess I'm going to get that a lot today. Tell you what, I'll do it. No, let's do it on the... Mm, thinking if I should do it on this hunt or not. I'll do it on this hunt. On the rest of this. If it lasts long... Mm, this is probably not going to last that long. So we'll do like a full warring land style in the next hunt, actually. Because I don't think that this hunt's going to last that long. She's on her last legs. She's sleeping. We're going to get like a UED on her head. It's going to be pretty gnarly. I wish there was more Kestodons, though. Because if I could kill three more Kestodons, I'd get that. Oh, she's not sleeping. She seems pretty upset. She's mad about something. She's suspicious. She's like, where's that hunter? Where's that stinking hunter? Oh, she's going to go to sleep. Oh, she's too suspicious. She's not going to go to sleep. It's like, I can smell him. I can smell that hunter. He's nearby. He's going to try to get me if I go to sleep. I really wanted to UED her in her sleep, but it's not going to happen. No! Is she going to be sleeping there? Oh look, there's Kulu Yaku. What you doing down there, boy? I really wanted to get a couple of more Castadons. Oh well, we'll get it. We'll get them next time. Yeah, she didn't like the fact that I chopped her tail, so she's not going to sleep anymore. She's like, I ain't sleeping. There's hunters around. Is she gonna fly away again? Are you really gonna do me dirty like that again? Rathian. Oh! 
Ah! Did I really put her in a mounted state? <laughs> With the counter move. Oh, I was expecting her to fall down. Aw. What's your thought on this guard fill file move and the guard move counts as wirebug mountable support? My thought on this move is that it is very, very, very powerful. Like that, that's my thought. I think this is a really powerful counter. I think it might be one of the most powerful counters in the game because you get full files and it lasts like for a full three seconds. It also leaves you open a little bit longer, but I think it's a little bit too forgiving. I think it should require a bit better timing, but I don't have like too strong feelings on it. I just think it's very, very powerful. <laughs> I get it, Hui Chen. Logging apple. Or logni. Logni nap. Logni a nap. Logni apple. Logni apple? Log, dude, that's way too hard. Logni apple? Logni apple? I guess it's logni apple. Logni apple. That, that I can do. Logni apple. I'm just so used to saying lodge an apple. Think Sunbreaker is going to be like Iceborne having that huge impact on the game in itself? Of course it is, Deadly Sight. That's the way it's always been. I think that a lot of people still don't know the history of, of Monster Hunter games. It's always been like that, right? You have like... I mean, not always. There were a couple of games that were different. So you have like Monster Hunter 1 and then Monster Hunter Dose, which are very different. But like, ever since 3 Ultimate, it's been like that. So you have... 3 ultimate, then you have Monster Hunter 4, and then you have 4 ultimate, so 4 would be Rise, and 4 ultimate would be Rise Sunbreak. Uh, you know, then after that you've had Generations, and Generations Ultimate, which is the same thing. Generations would be Rise, Generations Ultimate would be Sunbreak. You've had World and Iceborne, which is the same thing. It's like that's always the structure of, that's always been the structure of Monster Hunter games for the longest time. So yeah, you can expect as much game-changing stuff as you did from World to Sunbreak, to um, Iceborne, from Ri going from Rise to Sunbreak. Uh, I don't think I have enough stuff to craft it yet, do I? I do! Doobie doobie! That's what I'm talking about. And now the next one, I think that this is going to be Baryoth, but we'll need to check, because now we're going to do Baryoth. But before we do Baryoth, can I craft Aknosom armor? Uh, search, skills, fire attack. It's like I thought. So I don't want to get rid of my evade extender on the head, so I would want to craft these. Add to wish list. And these. Wait, these I can already craft, never mind. So I need one, f two flame sacks and one Aknosom scale. So I'll have to go beat on Aknosom. So to be honest, I actually have to swap my gear before we go there. So we're gonna go whale on an Aknosom real quick. Okay. 
Give me the poison one and give me this. Is there an Aknosom in here? No Aknosom's here. Aknosom is here. The shrine ruins. But if we need to kill an Aknosom, there's no reason why we don't just kill like a hub one. Because I probably have that quest in here, right? Dun dun dun. Yep, it's number one. Ba boom. Shrine ruins. Shrine ruin. Is it time yet? I don't think it's time yet. But at the same time, I don't see why not. Anyway, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. Counter morph slash. I actually haven't used this yet, so... I haven't used it that much. So let's try it. Then again, I haven't really done a lot of uh, guard pointing. I haven't really done that much guard pointing, so we'll see. We'll test it out. Work on wirebugs in Monster Hunter 6? Heavily doubt it. Heavily doubt it and personally wouldn't want it. I think the wirebugs were cool for this game. I don't think uh, we need wirebugs back. Okay, nothing there, so we can just go. How's this on PC? Smooth? Yes, it is. Very smooth. Like I said in my video, like, this thing plays solid 60, 1440p on my old-ass laptop with a 1070. Feels good. Wonder if I should be wasting time crafting elemental damage armor, to be honest. I probably shouldn't. But I'm an idiot. I like it's just I always I always like not rushing through Monster Hunter. I think that a lot of players enjoy just re really boosting through. It's like, let's go super fast, go, 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 go. And I'm like the exact opposite. I'm like, no, I'm take my time. Enjoy myself. Build a couple of sets before I move on. I think that's the way to do it. There you are. What you doing in there? Yoink. Hello, Aknosom. Wait, what? The first time I fought Aknosom, he didn't give me a proper roar. I got cheated. I actually was thinking about countering there, but I thought he was going to miss.
Damn it. Ow! Oh yeah, I forgot. One of you guys asked me to do this. Don't fall on me. The hell? Sorry that I forgot about that, but hey, you still get like this hunt with it. The warring style. This is the one filter that I kind of like because it gives it something unique. Like, I'm not that into black and white. And one of the things that I particularly don't like is when you add, like, artificial image degradation. Like, the, the, the whole cinema style thing. I'm not a big fan of having those artifacts in there. But this I dig. Freaking Aknasom's move set completely throws me off. I mean, this basically, like, desaturates everything except things that are close to you, things that are red, and, like, the lighting effects. Those that get actually exaggerated. It remind, like I said, it reminds me a bit of Sin City. The reason I'm doing that is because I also get broggy parts this way. I don't think I actually need them, but I can get them, so why not? You're good, kid. to hit me with that. What? I was standing right there. How do you feel compared to Monster Hunter World in terms of combat? Well, I prefer the combat in this game.
<laughs> the absolute abuse. <laughs> the absolute abuse as he's trying to leave. I'm like, no, 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 no. Stay a while. Stay a while and listen. Hey, I can craft the Acnesom braces. That was like very easy. Wait, didn't I need like flame sacks or whatever? How the hell did I get flame sacks that fast? I thought flame sacks would be like carves. Combat is great, but it's less immersive. Yeah, I could I could agree with that. There is less immersion because of some of the quality of life features they've added. You guys are like, Rurikan, why are you doing it that way? Why can't you just like charge your charge blade? Because I don't want to- oh my god, are they really all going to get away? Dude, these Bombadgies are fucking tough, dude. Look at them. Jesus Christ, barely got one. But yeah, the reason I wasn't using the files is because I want to save them for the wake up. I'm assuming that bastard's sleeping, right? Dude, all the monsters are suffering from insomnia today. They're like, they get like PTSD from the beatdown I give them. I'm not even joking. Look at the, look at this PTSD suffering motherfucker right here. Go to sleep, bitch. I'm gonna put you to sleep. You're getting annoying, Akno. I'm gonna have to put you down. <laughs> what? It's a two hit? I didn't know that was a two hitter. Alright. went right through me. <laughs> Sliced and dice. Capture versus kill, Rukan. Kill every single time. Kill every single time. Iron Breakers don't capture unless the guild asks us to. Unless the guild specifically asks us to capture, we don't do it. Is PC your mind now? What? My mind? I haven't made that decision yet, TKW. I'm gonna have to put like a, um, I'm gonna have to do like a poll on the actual channel, not just on the, not just on the stream, because I think, I think, uh, you know, I get a significant PC audience on this, on the, on these streams, because it's obviously PC gameplay. 
So, I feel like I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to do like a proper poll for the entire audience. So we'll see about that. But you have to make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Otherwise, YouTube's not gonna notify you of the community posts when I do it. Do you notice it being smoother on PC? Night and day. Night and day. Like, it doesn't bother me the way that it is on Switch, but... Obviously, 60 frames per second for me personally, it's night and day. 60 versus 30, literally night and day. But like I said, it's not something that's going to stop me from playing a game. But yeah, it's very noticeable. And I've never even gotten to play at 120 FPS because those monitors are prohibitively expensive. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. We got, uh, lottery. Dude. You get nothing, sir. You get nothing. That's what you get. Thank you. Thank you, game. Okay. Now, like I said... Bro, got to play 244. Dude, I'd love to. I'd love to. Do you know how expensive that shit is, though? I need to feed my children, man. It's like, it's like, hey, listen, Miguel, listen. You and your sister are not eating for the next three months. Why, daddy? Because I want to play video games at 244 hertz. <laughs> it's like, daddy, that does not seem reasonable. I don't care. <laughs> It doesn't work like that, dude. I can't do that. I wish I I wish I could buy one of those beefy monitors, but I can't do that shit. Uh let's see. I wanted to get the Aknosom. Oh, I did get all those flame sacks. Huh. Interesting. I can equip that. Uh the, none of these give me fire, right? Oh, this also gives you fire. But I'd have to sacrifice my one evade extender or no, because I'm going to have to use legs as well. No, we're not sacrificing the Evade Extender. Yoshi. Screw that noise, dude. Evade Extender too strong. Evade Extender strong. Okay, we're going to take this. And we going to take this. To fire attack. Nice. And now we're going to go against him. And we're actually going to swap things around because he's a fast bastard. He likes to move a lot. So, I want to go. I want to go with something a little bit different. A little bit different. We going to go with this. And I don't like Counter Morph Slash. I don't like the vibe that I got from it. So, we're not doing that. I, I don't know what the advantage is of Counter Morph Slash. Maybe it's because I've played Charge Blade in the past and it just feels so weird. Maybe it's a thing that maybe it feels better with quick morph or something. I feel like I need to experiment with it more, but right now I find it very awkward to transition from. I think that one is one of those things that just takes a long while to get used to. Uh, so we got Moneymaker, we got that, and what I'll, I guess I'll take Trainer. Yeah, sure. Doo -doo 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 -doo. If your kids complain about it, tell them it's time to get a job. <laughs> I'll tell my six-year-old, if you want to eat, you better start earning your keep around here, kid. <laughs> better start earning your keep around here, kid. Daddy, I'm six. I don't care. Did I stutter? I don't think I stuttered. Uh, did they return yet? They have. Why am I not... I'm not seeing the notifications. I'm gonna send you guys out to the Sandy Plains. The Sandy Plains. There you go.
Okay, we'll get that, and I believe the submarines should be going strong, right? Okay, we'll go ahead and take all that stuff. Keep gathering honey for me, sounds good. Let's go. Alrighty, already, already, ready. Let's see who we got. Yoink. So we are looking for Bariotto. Where kind does this charge blade feel better at higher frame rates and switch rise? I didn't play that much of the charge blade on switch. It's about the same for me. If I need, if I want to compare something, I'd have to play the actual gun lens. That's what I would need to play. Which I will craft gun lenses as well at some point. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he's over there. Oh, the guard point is definitely longer. Both guard points are longer, because even the, the moment when he's thrusting with it, that's a guard point as well, if you guys didn't know. Big guard point. Dude, what, I'm, what amazes me the most about Charge Blade is how fast the Wirebug recovery is with, um, with that counter. Because I feel like for the amount of things that counter does, it recovers way too fast. I actually couldn't see a damn thing. I hate this move of his because he always misses. chat what he always misses that though oh my god Barriott's about to have a sweet fun time with me at this rate Now, if you'll excuse me there, Mr. Kazu. Okay. 
Oops, I didn't actually mean to finish. I actually meant to ride the Kazu. Oh well. Premature mount finish. I swear this never happens to me. I love how they both just left. How polite. It's just like, I've harvested you for materials, Kezu. You can now leave. I still can't believe, like, I gotta I gotta be honest. I still can't believe, and this is not like a, a knock on him, because, like I said multiple times, I love Azus. Um, you guys know the, the speedrunner for Bloodborne? I love that guy. I think he's awesome. But I'm still surprised that Kezu is what broke him. Kazu is what broke him and just caused him to say this game's trash or something like that, I forget. And he f actually just legit rage quit Monster Hunter Rise and I was like, wow. We're talking like low rank Kezu broke Jesus here's toast. I was like, what? I still can't believe that. The memes were indeed hilarious. You're you're not wrong there. Okay, we we are starting to have a bit of a problem here. Oh wait, village Kezu. Okay, yeah. I, okay, I guess that's even worse. Never mind. <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry. Hey Zeus, if you ever listen to this dude, I'd love to like give you a couple of tips that could potentially like make Monster Hunter a really good series for you, because I really like your stuff, dude. He's just a really nice guy and I like his stuff as well. You messed up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh! No, 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 charge. Eesh. Eesh. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, bro, can you, can you stop? Can you, like, take a chill pill? Jesus! Like, just for a second, stop spurging. Stop the spurgage, Berioth! Dude, he's mad. Okay, here you go, Berioth. Here you go. Here you go. Spurg on this! What a fucking spurg. This! Yeah! That hurt, but I still freaking got him. Alright. We got his ass, literally. So there's that. But, yeah, I need to start using Mega Potions. The time has come. Barioth is uh, where I draw the line. Because I've just been using the lower potions, because I'm like, well, I don't really need Mega Potions yet. But Barioth is where I draw the line. From this moment onwards, we are going to be consuming copious amounts of honey. Copious amounts. Okay, guys, so be ready for that. We are going to be consuming honey like honey has never been consumed before. We are going to be slurping it. Not even by the spoonful, but by the spadeful. Okay, do you understand? Do you understand what I'm telling you? With a spade. We are going to be consuming honey with a spade. Open wide the gates of honey. All the honey in the world will not suffice. Shit, shit. 
Yeah! Aw, oh, come on, dude. That was dirty. That was dirty. Welcome to diabetes. Can you even... I mean, considering that honey is like a natural product... Because, I mean, you know, sugar, obviously, that fucks you up because it's a, you know, refined sugar and shit like that, right? But honey is a natural product. Would you, like, really get diabetes from just, like, slurping honey? There's a lot of diabetes bears out there, then, if that's the case. Like, Erzuros has got a bad case of diabetes. Yeah! Bastard. A ping! <laughs> that didn't make any difference. The drugs! Let's go, boys. Yeah! Dude, it kind of sucks what they do to elemental damage in Monster Hunter, though. I mean, come on. Elemental files are going to be hidden for like 10. 10 on an SAED? Come on, bro. But like, this isn't even a problem with the charge blade. This is just a problem with their philosophy behind elemental damage. It's almost like someone's over at Capcom and they're like, nah, dude. Elemental damage is just for dual blades. And people are like, but we like building elemental weapons. This makes like 80% of our tree kind of not be that meaningful. Dual blades. What? How dare you target my palicos, you prick. You're gonna learn. Got him. I don't know what people are complaining about SAD. Seems fine to me. <laughs> Coming up a little bit dry there, Baryoth. I can't believe that Rathian carded me, but yet I one-shot Baryoth. Like, what? Well, not actual one-shot. Get first try Baryoth. The low UED damage for elemental UEDs is specific to Baryoth. Uh, no. I don't think that's the case. It's specific to a lot of monsters. A lot of monsters are going to deal poor UED damage. It was the same thing. At least that's what I'm expecting. I don't actually know because I didn't play enough of the weapon in Rise. In, in the Switch version, I mean. But in World, it was exactly like that. Elemental Files always got the dick. Always got the dick. One report complete. What did I do? What did I do? Oh. Okay. There. I've unlocked both camps in the in the lava caverns. Okay. Let's see if we can get the Baryoth charge blade. It's this one, right? Okay, we need to kill more Baryoths. Thing is, I don't think I have Baryoth in... I don't think I have Baryoth in the hub yet, because I'm still in hub rank 1. And I'm going to burn through the special license tests. To just, like, go to high rank, so... You know, because I don't want to rush through it, but at the same time, I don't want to, like, dilly-dally for, like, 50 hours in low rank. So we're going to go for another Baryoth. <clears throat> Because I want to craft this charge blade. Uh, oh yeah, it, no, 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 no. It's it's time, baby. It's time. It's time to do it. The time has come. 
We don't need any of this trash right here. This absolute trash. Okay, we don't need that. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make our set. So it starts out with this and this. Are these large barrel bombs? Okay, we need those as well. Uh, I need to like get uh, scale fish, whatever the powder fish, so that I can start. Can I buy it after I get it? I don't know if I can buy it or if I have to order it with the cats, but we need to get that thing. We get that unlocked. Uh, uh, what else do I need? I need this. I need to make those. Uh, we also need this. Am I going to take rations or well done steaks? I think I had well done steaks personally. Um, traps. Do I have shock traps as well? We should, we should craft some then. If I even can. <clears throat> I need to like unlock all of the items because I don't know what everything is right now. There's the max potion. This is the ancient potion. Best of life. Make a demon drug. I can't craft that one just yet. Yeah, we scatter fish. That's what I need. Interesting enough, it revealed it to me. I wonder if I can have the Palicos go get it already. Because I need like a ton of that. An absolute omega ton of it. Uh, can I not craft traps? There it is, shock trap. Yeah, I don't have any. Craft that. We're going to need to sort that. We're going to need this. We're going to need that. We're going to need the bomb fish as well. What else? We have the whetstones. I know I'm missing stuff because my other setup has way more things than this. Hmm. I guess this will do for now. But I also want to craft this. This is how you know that I'm an old school hunter. Right there. Okay, so for now, let's go ahead and save that. Now, we want to change our wheel. Okay, I know one of the things that I need that I completely forgot. Uh, wait, I've never crafted it. God damn it. I need to craft it and then change it. Okay. Uh, and what we need is this. Okay, now that we have that, let's see if I can order some scatter fish, which I don't think I can. Do, 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 do. Um, hanging scroll depicting the Kamura gang. 
the hell is that? I don't remember that at all. Do we have the fish yet or do we not? We do not. So I have to actually fish it. <laughs> I have to actually fish it. Anyway, tell me more about this fast friends thing. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Minoto the Hub Maidens. Drawing skills? Mm, well, to be blunt, they suck! One day I snuck into the gathering hub and saw Minoto sketching. She giggled and said she was trying to draw Master Hojo. But it didn't look like Hojo at all. It looked exactly like a Tetranodon. Some people have artistic sense, but I don't think Minoto is one of them. By my whiskers, wasn't that juicy? I'll update you again once you've completed an urgent quest from Hinoa. Minoto can't draw. Minoto can't draw, dude. Rekhan, I'm earlier than you and I can get them. That's because you fished them. You have to actually fish them, and I haven't fished them. At least from what I can remember. I, don't, I think it, I, it has to be fished in either the Shrine Ruins or Sandy Plains. I don't even think I can fish them where I'm at right now. Is there a fishing thing? I don't think there's... I don't think there's a fishing thing. Um... I'll take the trainer. Fukushigi is a savage indeed. Now then, uh, I actually think that spinning slash will be better for him. Okay, we'll craft the thing when we get there. And I'll try fishing there, just in case. Konnichiwa! Transport items? No, 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 no. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. You know what? You know what, Chan? Morning, Victor Andre. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, do remember hitting the like button helps us out a lot. If you guys want to keep up to date as we progress through the game, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon and all that bullshit. If you do not like the stream, you can also hit the dislike button, but YouTube would like you to know that they don't give a fuck what you think. And all they care about is fucking major corporations, and therefore, your opinion on whether you like this video or not doesn't really matter to YouTube. Which kind of sucks. Sorry, I just take every opportunity I can to bitch about that because it's very frustrating to me. I always want my work to be able to be appraised by my audience. I don't think it makes any sense otherwise. That's why it's called YouTube. Because you decide as opposed to corporations decide. But hey man, it is what it is. YouTube thinks that people are being toxic when they dislike a video. But YouTube doesn't think corporations can be toxic though. Corporations that rip people off, like you know, when uh, when good old Ubisoft decided, like, we're gonna make Ubisoft quartz. People were able to express their dislike for that. When corporations fuck up and make bad content, people are able to express their dislike. YouTube don't want that. That's not very advertiser friendly, you see. Yeah, I need to stop going on that rant. <laughs> Oh, man. My favorite room in Monster Hunter World was the second one, the one with the aquarium. I didn't like the third one. And the one in Iceborne was cool, but it was still a little bit too big. I feel like, to me, the second room was the most immersive because it denoted that your hunter was someone of importance 
because you know you are essentially the main character so like you're an important person but it also denoted that it's like hey we're not gonna give you a fucking palace okay you're a hunter it's your job to hunt monsters you know whereas like if you go to the third one it's like here's a fucking palace with palicos playing the harp and i'm just like whoa whoa dude but then again, I guess that also says a lot about me, because I kind of just leave a life without too many luxuries. It's just not my thing. I like simple things. You know? Do you think that Rise will have a discount at some point? Dude, it's on Steam. It's on Steam. I think that at one point it will be on sale for like $1.99. It's on Steam. Literally everything on Steam gets, like, massive fucking deep discounts. So, like, if you're waiting for a discount, then wait for a couple of months. But a, a thousand percent this will get a discount. Wouldn't be surprised if, like, it'll get, like, maybe a, a 50% discount. Not even that long from now. So, yeah. Are you running the M60 FPS caps? It looked really smooth. Um, I think I have it capped, yes. Because my monitor can't do more than 60 anyways. And the stream can't do more than 60, so it's pretty pointless for me to uncap it. Damn it! Barioth, you worthless- Come on, dude! Thank you for hitting! I'm like, trying to counter your ass and you keep fucking whiffing! Oh, uh, what? Come on. All right, I got to change that. Oh, I, I have to actually craft it before I can do it. Oh, nice. How convenient. Oh my god, you're so worthless, Barioth! You can't land! You just can't land hits, bro! Ah, what?! Bastard. We'll pay for that.
That's what I'm talking about. We're kind of playing with a high res texture pack. I think so. I believe so. I mean, I think it's included in the game by default, right? Is it separate DLC? Because I remember that in, in World, there was a separate DLC, but I don't think in this one. <laughs> that was so fucking sneaky. I'm so sneaky. You'll never see me coming. Yeah, if it's in the game by default, I have it turned on because I have max settings. What? I staggered him out of it. Come and get it! Barry off. Come and get it, boy! Who's a good boy? Mm. That was not that good. Didn't even chop the tail this time. <laughs> yeah, Alakon music, it looks sexy as hell, dude. Let me guess, usually people pronounce your name as Laken. It's because I'm not, um, I'm not actually like English or American. I'm Portuguese, so I try to pronounce things uh, a little bit different when I can tell that they're not English. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got nothing here. Can we start crafting that then? Dude, I keep breaking his teeth and it's not enough. You gonna make me hunt another one? Like, don't you have enough of a beatdown already? I mean, hey, it is what it is, I guess. Oh, I need baggy scales for this? Uh, I have to go kill a baggy. Uh, 
Wait, baggy scales should be from regular baggies. So considering I have to go kill another Baryoth anyway. I also said I'd play a little bit of Gunlands today. Let me see what Gunlands we have available right now. We have Rathium, which is going to be one of the better normal ones. But I don't want normal. Oh, we got ba Is Baryoth going to be wide? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Baryoth Gunlands is going to be real good early on. Is going to be good. Is there no wide? Is there really just like no wide? Wow, dude. Look at Baroth coming in with a long level two. That's pretty disgusting, Baroth. I'll have you know. Is there really no good wide early on? I guess it's like the closest you can get with some pop fish. The friggin' sleepy shell gun. That's disappointing. I guess Delix is wide, but... Eh. Yeesh. Yeesh. I mean, the obvious winner here is Baroth, but there's nothing, like, particularly exciting. Oh, gun lances early on are not exciting at all. Huh. That's a whole lot of weak shit. I guess I can craft Baroths if I really want to. Upgrade to level 2. But this is still a long shelling. I would just straight up abuse monsters with, with this Baroth gun lance right now. I want to wait for like a good wide. So we'll wait for a wide. I think like one of the better early wides is... Is it Pukes? It's like one of the poison ones. I think it's Pukes. It looks weird though. It looks real weird. Um... Right, we're doing another Baryoth. And we have to kill a Baggy and get his scale. We got nothing going on there, so... Yep, let's go. Ooh, Sadango! We're gonna get that Dango Ice Resistance. A little bit of Dango Trainer. Dango! In comparison to Monster Hunter World, does Rice have more monsters to hunt? Yes. The, the reason why a lot of people uh, like to say that World has more content than Rise is because World has investigations. So World has tempered monsters. Which are harder than regular monsters. But in terms of just like raw monsters, Rise, base Rise, had more monsters than full Monster Hunter World. So like <clears throat> pre-Iceborne patch Monster Hunter World. Is it better to capture Captain Fang? You mean you mean capture is it better to capture than kill? Uh no, it's not better, it's different. And anyone who tells you it's better is misinformed. I would really like to know where people got this stupid idea that capturing a monster is always better than killing it. I really would like to genuinely know. Cuz like it seems like for some reason every you know, everyone that came into Monster Hunter, like, they all have this idea. It's like, capturing is better. You always get more materials if you capture it. It's like, that's not how that works at all, but okay. That's actually not how that works at all, buddy. From speedrunners? Is it speedrunners? I don't I mean, because speedrunners capture because it's faster. It's in their name. Speedrunners. <laughs> the ones that do, because not all speedrunners capture.
All right, I want to go kill a baggy, and for that we'd want to go here. It's not even because the carves or anything, it's just because the real situation is that you usually tend to get different materials. That's the way I look at it anyways. Usually what you get is different materials. Can't you get up to four boxes by capturing? A, not in Rise. And B, yes, you could get that in World and previous Monster Hunters. But even then, there are some materials that have a higher chance... ...that have a higher chance to get from carving, and other materials that have a higher chance to get by capturing. So the idea is... Um, you want to kill the monster in a way that gives you the material that you want. And sometimes, the material that you want is easier to obtain by capturing, whereas other times, the material that you want is easier to obtain by killing. But some people just probably heard someone say in some video, capturing is always better, and it just like stuck into their brain like shit stink sticks on your shoe and it never got off. You know? You know how like the stink of shit, like even after you clean your shoe, the stink of shit is still there? Like that that seems to be the same thing with a lot of people. They're like, no, capturing's always better. And then they come to my streams and like, capturing's better, Urkan. Why don't you capture? It's like because it's not always better and because I like killing things. I like killing them. Understand? It's nothing personal. I just like putting them down. That is more fun to me. And no, there is no penalty for choosing to play like that. <sighs> Rudy, do you play on PC? I literally can't play the game because I'm getting a fail to save message. Yes. I play on PC. I don't know what the problem is. I've heard about that problem yesterday. And yesterday I was still playing the preview version because I wasn't sure if, like, there was going to be delays with uh, Portuguese Steam server or something like that. Because let me tell you, when you live in Portugal, you learn to... You learn to adapt real quick when it comes to online things because things can go wrong really fucking fast. So, when I have something that is working and I'm about to go live with the stream, I want to make sure that the thing is still working, so I didn't update to the main branch. But this morning, I actually swapped to the main branch, so the game I'm playing right now is exactly the same that everybody else has. Whereas, yesterday I was still playing the early version. But, no, I don't have the fail-to-save problem. I spoke with, um... Capcom's, um... Capcom UK's PR. And he's assured me that the team is looking into that to try and get everybody into... Monster Hunter Rise as fast as possible. Because this was not an issue that was presented itself in the earlier versions of the game. Because, like, I can tell you right now that I know that a lot of creators had access, and none of them had that problem. God damn it. The majority of these computers is with a the majority of this problem is with Acer computers. Acer, Acer from my experience is usually more budget hardware. So could have something to do with like read and write speeds of their hard drives or something, but I I don't know, dude. It's just like pure speculation. Recovery on those moves is so punishing. Take. 
Ariot's about to wreck me over here. That was bad. Didn't expect that to hit, to be honest. I gotta make sure that I chop his head. Gotta crack his front teeth. Uh, the plan is to upload it today, Lance. So later today you should be seeing that at some point in the afternoon. God damn it. Are you really just giving me more weapons to throw at you, Baryoth? Do you think that's wise? Do you have any idea the amount of damage I can do to you with a great Izuchi? You just really have no idea, do you? Great Izuchi is an absolute beast. You see what I mean? Look at Great Izuchi go. The Great Izuchi does not forgive. The Great Izuchi does not forget. The Great Izuchi is death incarnate, baby. Look at him go. We just ended this man's whole career. And I cracked his teeth, just like I intended to. You better run, Baryoth! You better run for your life! Oh, damn, he's back. Changed your mind? Welcome back, buddy. Oh, come on, make up your mind. Silly goose. Yes, yeah, silly goose. Dude, are you really going to stagger at like literally every hit I land on you right now? Come on. Come on, buddy. Get it together. Gotta hurt. Dude, this weapon just flows. I really don't understand. It's like the amount of complaining I've heard is like, I don't know. I don't know, man. This feels pretty fucking good. And the damage is not the worst in the game, which is the, the case with the other weapon that I like to play. 
It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Ooh. Went to sleep. Smart. That was smart, Barioth. Don't move. Put him down. Put his ass down. Convinced the axe is too slow? I mean, you do see the redonkulous amount of damage it deals like. It has to be balanced somehow. Rui standards are low after gun lands. <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Gunlance player standards are very low, but then again, look at our weapon, right? I mean, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? There you go, Thancred. You guys like Thancred? That's the name of my of my Kahoot. I call him Thancred. I don't think I got another amber thing. I could have used some more because I'd like to craft this gun lance. FYI, Rurikon Ice Charge Blade is the worst elemental charge blade right now. It's really only useful for base Diablos. That's fine. I don't care. I mean, that's the thing. Iceborne, uh, not Iceborne, uh, Rise is just so easy that I kind of don't feel like you need to min-max. I don't think you really need to min-max to that level. Oh well, gonna have to use that. Fucking bug materials, dude. Okay, I need ice damage armor now. Do we have that? Baggy. Why the head? Lagombi. Obviously, baggies is better. We need another baggy scale. And we can just craft baggy van braces for one ice attack. Uh, I almost don't think it's worth it. Kind of weak. Optional gathering honey, large monster hunting, golden spare birds. Looks good. Village quests. What else you got for me? He know what? Chen! A song of red and fire. Off your rocker. If I remember correctly, home slice over here is actually weak to water. I don't remember if he's particularly weak to ice. We could try it out. We could try it out. Obviously, I want him because he's got load shells for gun lands. Uh, we will do Toby and Basario. We need three. So Toby, Basarios, and him. Because I don't think I need anything from Somna. I don't think I need anything from her. Oh, Puke! Dude, why is Puke an optional? Is, do I have Puke in the hub? I don't care if he's optional. I'm doing Puke. Puke! 
Pookie, 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 pookie. We're gonna do pookie. We're gonna do pookie. And we're gonna try, we're gonna have to try and kill him fast because he's an optional quest, obviously. So we gotta, like, you know. We gotta just, like, take care of. Did I forget to eat? Volvi get. Oh, right. Volvi does have rapid morph. <laughs> I love Puke. Was that like a poison burp? You can eat in the tent? Oh, right, you can. Yoink. See, I feel like this is one of those things, right? I feel like, hey, you forgot to eat? Too bad. You know? I would actually prefer it like that. Like, I think that this is too easy. It's like, oh, okay, I forgot to eat. I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I did not prepare for this hunt at all. It doesn't matter. Why should it matter? So, like, come in here. Polisher. There's no poison. I can do, like, medic and... Speeds up light recovery. There's, like, there's literally no penalty for me not preparing. Did I even, did I even manage my loadout? I didn't even manage my loadout. You know, and the game is just like, it just instills poor habits into hunters, I feel like. I feel like right now, I should have gotten punished. The game should have punished me. The game should have been like, hey, hey, idiot. You idiot. You should have prepared before you came to the hunt now, shouldn't you? Yeah, you should. You should. You done fucked up. Guess what? Now, you can either go back to town or you can struggle a little bit. And I think that's fair. Preparing for hunts is the most tedious shit ever. Hard disagree. Hard disagree. Preparing for hunts is something that contributes to the immersion of monster hunters so much more than just like spamming hunts. But, you know, that's that. that just, I just feel like me putting that argument out there is like me just going like, Ah, oh, you kids, get off my lawn. He just ditched. And it's like, I don't want to be the old man. Uh, Thesia Velenheim, gonna try to main sword and shield on PC, main hunting horn and insect glaive on the Switch. Wish me luck. Also, the whole family loves you and guides and keep up the good work. Wow. Thank you, Thesia. You're too kind. Appreciate the support. Tip of the hat. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's like, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the show. Hunter gotta be prepared. Exactly. I agree. I'm with you, Refu is my favorite for a reason. Dude, I miss farms so much, dude. Farms was such a cool aspect of the game. You just go onto the farm, chill out for a bit. It was good stuff, dude. I think that was good content. Not this. I think it's almost like... I don't know if you guys ever did... Um, I think an apt comparison to this. I don't know how many people have ever played um, paintball. But um, it's like there are two different versions of, of paintball, at least when I used to do it. And me and the people that played, we used to have like different names for them, right? So one of the versions would be where you would go into like an urban building or a forest setting and you would have a shootout, right? And you would shoot it out with people, you'd do the paintball thing and it was all good fun. And then, you know, everybody goes home and it's good times. And then the other one, we called Speedball. And I think that's actually the official name. I'm not a thousand percent sure. And Speedball is like, you know, you have like these inflatable things that work as cover. And everybody just like runs in. There's not that much um, 
there's not that much of an element of there having like an urban element or a forest element. It's like there's these speedball things. Everybody rushes in, get into position as fast as possible and try to kill the enemy team as fast as possible, right? And I've always been more of a paintball guy. I don't think I've ever even done speedball because the idea, I didn't like the idea. And I kind of think that it's the same thing, right? Monster Hunter is going towards the speedball route. Whereas previously, it used to be regular paintball. Bunker scenarios in forest. Yeah, dude, I used to do that a lot back in the day. Unfortunately, I don't really have time to do it nowadays, but... Have I ever told you that the story of my good friend, Taya? And how he took it... He, t he took the nastiest dump in an urban setting after a paintball game? <laughs> you guys have no idea what... <laughs> I gotta tell you guys that story. <laughs> This shit's hilarious. I think I've I've told this story before. I'm not sure if I did it on this stream or if it was on Twitch. I've definitely told this story before, though. Gareth the Verathesia is my brother, and I confirm the whole family loves you and guides, especially with Third Fleet Podcast. Thank you, Gareth. You guys are too kind. I appreciate it. Thank you. Tip of the hat. Thank you very much for the souls. Appreciate it. Yeah, after after this hunt, I'll tell you guys the story. <laughs> Ever since you're alive, I've been enjoying exploring maps for spirit birds. I think it's just a matter of considering the spirit birds as a part of the preparation for Rise, which hadn't really clicked for me until someone mentioned it in that stream where I was hunting um, Apex Emergency Rathalos. Uh, and yeah, that completely changed everything for me. How's the PC version so far, guys? It's amazing. Love it. Aw, how are you gonna miss that? Okay, what's wrong with you? Before you guys ask, I know that Puka is not particularly vulnerable to fire. An impact file here would have been much better, or a thunder file. But I didn't feel like switching weapons. of you. Imagining poisoning a Puke Puke. Can I do it? <laughs> Got him! a persimmon, Pookie! <laughs> you want a persimmon? <laughs> Be 
feed that motherfucker a couple of persimmons, man. Bouquets love persimmons. That's what I heard. That's what my mama told me. Mama always told me to feed Puke Puke persimmons. <laughs> Guys, remember, village quests tend to end really fast. There's fruit element charge blade. In world, a monster invading your hunt was detrimental. In Rise, it helps. Yeah, it always does. Always, 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 always. Looked like he was allergic. Yeah, he had a severe allergy to persimmons. Rui, are you aware that Puke Puke in my country means something else? No. I don't know what Puke Puke means in other languages. Alright, we completed an optional quest. Oh, right, from her. Okay, next one has to be Home Slice here. I don't know what he's weak to. Excuse me. I don't know what he's weak to, so... I am going to bring... This, I guess. I don't know if he's weak to ice or not. Doesn't matter. Wait, why am I using Renoplos mail? That doesn't make a lot of sense. I need something that can just give me, like... Benefit with whatever. Can we have like attack gloves on anything? Anything on gloves? No, no, but we can have legs. That's about it. What else can I get on gloves then? Critical eye? Look at that. We can just craft these bad boys. Not even a problem. Yeah, the hell with it. Let's craft these. Problem solved. Then we will do. Inga. That works. I don't have water. Water is going to be Juratotus Gunlance. So that takes a long time. That's why I'm bringing ice instead. Uh, let's go polisher and um, defender low. Mm, blight. Where's blight stuff? Immunizer. I'm going to take a very quick bio while we eat. So I'm going to let the animation play out and I'll be right, right back.
Let's go. Let's go. Time has come. Boom. Banjo. Uh, also, we didn't see the introduction to the lava caverns. I will play the cutscene for you guys when I get back to town. Remind me of that, because I'm probably going to forget. Uh, because, like I said, I came to the lava caverns yesterday in an expedition to collect material so that it, you guys wouldn't have to get bored watching me collect minerals today. Or whatever you want to call it. I'm sorry for that. That's also why there's a significant portion of the map that's already explored as well as you can imagine. Hi. Hi. What a bully. What a bully. Imagine killing Altroths left and right. Then maybe the game shouldn't need as many Altroth materials, man. Altroth materials, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, Volvi. Ow! Okay, yeah, boys, here's the drugs. Let's go. Explosive diarrhea, ceaseless discharge. is doing a decent job. 19? That's not too shabby. Oh, and now that we broke his shell, should be even better. Ow. He's catching me right at the tail end of the friggin' thing, which is not helping. Suck a chump. Yeah. 
He didn't like that at all, boys. That was really good. Dude, I am not kidding. I'm having a much easier time with, uh, I mean, you know, all things considered because village is village. But like, even in the, even in the context of village, I'm having such a much easier time with charge blade and gun, with charge blade and gun lance. I was about to say gun blade. Charge blade than gun lance. Much easier time. Hey, Sacred Fatalis, what's up? Nice gameplay. I wish we were used SNS though. I do use SNS. SNS is like my second favorite weapon. It's just for PC. I'm gonna be using uh, Charge Blade because I didn't play Charge Blade almost at all during Switch. I love SNS. Like my my first playthrough of the game, I use SNS. Well, not my first playthrough, but my first YouTube playthrough of the game, I use SNS all the time. Barely even touched any. Oh god, that turned so much. No! Okay. Try this! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Did that hurt? That hurt, buddy. You didn't like that at all, boys. That's gotta fucking hurt. stop that I actually think that for him I would have preferred the condensed elemental slash Sit down, son. Just sit down. You don't want to hurt yourself. Ow. Jesus, he's gonna go far away too. Never mind. See, you were gonna go too far, and I and I just didn't want that. What happened with the PS logo? I have it covered because it's it almost sounds like I'm sponsored by them, and I'm not. But no, he didn't force me to scratch it. There's a piece of cloth covering it. Ooh, what's this? Nullberry? Oh, 
I'm full of null berries. I gotta only bring like, I gotta only bring like five null berries. I feel like, because I'm still in collecting Strong. phase. <laughs> Are you using a pro controller? No, I'm using uh, Dual Shock Four. <laughs> What do we got here? What do we got here? Volvi armor, my dude. Volvidon. Paralysis attack. Thank God we don't need that. Rapid morph. Evade extender. Rapid mo Wow, you can get two rapid morph and two evade extender. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right, we're gonna get that one point of rapid morph. And that one point, dude, I'm gonna have like three evade extender. <laughs> I have like three points of evade extender. Uh, also, can I craft? Wait. I thought it was the Puke gun lance that was like the good wide. There's no Puke gun lance? Well, what's that poison gun lance then? It's not Camellios, because Camellios is terrible. You guys know the gun lance that, um,. Chaos Slayer swears by? I thought that was Puke. Or is it only high rank? Do you only get the Puke gun lance in high rank? No, it's not Rathian. It's not Kezu either. It's a poison one. It's a thousand percent not Rathian. It's not Rathian, guys. No, no, no. It's not Princess Panoply. It's not this. It's not this. It's a wide shelling one. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see what, what it is. Cause I know it's in the arena. It has to be Puke, yeah. I guess you only get the Puke one in high rank then, because like look, it is oh, I have to actually do these to unlock the other ones. Ah, uh, then I can't show you guys yet. Because it's in the Barioth. I think it's actually the one after this. It's the gun lance that you can use in that Barioth. It's not Camellios. It's a thousand percent not Camellios. Yeah, I guess you, you need high rank Puke to get that gun lance. That's disappointing. So I killed Puke for nothing. Poor Puke. Yeah, friggin' wasted for nothing. Ooh, two critical eye? Mm. <laughs> two critical eye? Uh, yeah, see, it's definitely that, the Puke one, because it's got the same thing, the same look as this. So yeah, I guess you could... <sighs> That is so surprising to me. Why would they hide the Puke Puke gun lance in a high rank? <laughs> what? <laughs> How does that make any sense? It's too powerful. The Puke Puke gun lance is far too powerful to be kept alive. Goodness gracious, Rurikan, what is wrong with you? Such power should not be available in low rank. <laughs> it's too powerful. It's too dangerous to be kept alive. Oh, man. Special license tests. Ooh, I can advance. Uh, ooh, this is actually good. Uh, we still need... Freaking Shadow off your rocker. 
I don't know what to use for him. I never know what his weakness is. I guess we'll just keep what we have right now. The hell with it. But I kind of want to murder another one of these real quick. We're going to go murder another one of these bad boys real quick. Because I want to get started with my... Valvedon armor and stuff. I'm thinking... Is Valvedon Gunlands wide? I hope it is. Really need a good wide Gunlands. You can't get the Corn Popper in low rank, right? I would assume that's a high rank thing only. Ooh, just get the Corn Popper, buddy. Just get that Corn Popper. Corn popper! Nobody expects the corn popper. I remember using it to low rank. It might just be like a... It might just be like a unlocking thing. Let me see something. I definitely want this. So we got what? Rapid Morph and Evade Extender? We need the belt. We need. Yeah, I kind of need another Volvadon for sure. Volvi Gun Lance is long. Okay. Oh well. Let's try and make this one a little bit faster this time, shall we? Wait, he's in a different spot. Nope, not subcamp 2. I need to unlock subcamp 1. That requires killing Uruktors. Maybe I should get that done now. Let's just get that done real quick. Get the Uruktors while we're here. I didn't know I could fall down here. That's actually not what I intended to do. Oops. Can I go back upstairs, I wonder? That is not... Such devastation was not my intention. What I actually meant to do... Something different. Well, we're here now, and that's what matters. Yeet! There they are. There's our prey. Hello, boys. How y'all doing in here? 
I did get the camp. I haven't... I mean... The camp is literally the reason why we're killing these Uruktors. <laughs> we don't have that camp yet. And we're gonna kill these Uruktors so that we can get that camp. After we get the Uruktors, get the camp. Are there only two of them here? Did he just leave? I love how it still knocked me out, even though there, it's a friggin' Uruktor. I land the counter, it still throws me away. This is one of the downsides of the charge blade counter. Uh, let's go this way. Let's see if there's any Uruktors around downstairs. Ah! Oh, hello. How you doing? How did you know I've been looking for you? I just got reminded that I actually wanted to use the condensed elemental slash for all of you as well. Three more. And I think that there's actually a, a weapon or something that requires these Uruktor scales, so this is not like completely useless. Rurikon, will you have sessions with the viewers as you did in Monster Hunter World? Uh, sure, but first I'd like to go through at least the main story solo, because it's like the game's easy enough as it is, you know? But I'll do sessions with, like, the harder monsters and stuff. I think that'll be fun. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Ooh. Take that. Nothing on this side. How about here? There you are. Literally just missing one Uruktor. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's another one on the left. Uh... Nope. Not really. Uh, I think that there there might be like a respawn on the other on the other ones upstairs. Okay. Final question, Rurikon. Are the Insect Glaive Switch Axe and Lance viable in this game? All weapons are viable. I mean, I literally play the worst weapon of the game, and I've taken on every single big challenge of the game with the worst weapon of the game, so all weapons are viable. Are they fun? Uh, Insect Glaive, yes. Switch Axe, yes. And in my opinion, Lance, no. I do not like Lance in this game. There it is. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to get Condensed uh, Elemental Slash. Instead of Condensed Spinning Slash. Capturing was never explicitly better. It was never explicitly better. 
because there's always been like different percentages on some items depending on whether you carve or you capture and that's what you always want to check it's not like oh it used to be better in older games no no, no. that's not how it works uh condensed element slash let's try out the counter morph slash a little bit Make lance usable when mounted. <laughs> that doesn't seem very reasonable. You c listen, if you want to use mounted lance, buy Elden Ring. <laughs> you can use mounted lance in Elden Ring. There you go, problem solved. God, I love Evade Extender, because it even benefits you here. Oh, I can just straight up go through here. That works, too. Do -do 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 -do. Rhea, I want to, like, start using Gunlands, but I don't know how to use it. Like, I know the move set, but for me it's too slow and clunky. Practice, practice, practice. The one thing that I can tell you about the fact that it's slow and clunky is that when you are recovering, Guard's Edge recovers faster from uh, recovery animations. That's, like, the one tip that I can give you that can make it potentially feel a little bit less clunky. But that's about it. Wait, what the... Dude, this goddamn Volvodon won't sit still! Mother... You... Fucking kidding me right now! Bro! Chasing your ass all over this goddamn map! Make up your goddamn mind! Look at this Volvodon! A rolling stone gathers no moss, I guess! Jesus Christ! I'm gonna punish you for that. What the fuck? Just pooped on me. If there are parts that came from carving, I would kill, but especially if the parts I was looking for only came in the reward, I would try to capture because it gives more rewards. It does not give more rewards! Jesus! Fuck! It doesn't! Factually 
doesn't! Good God! Everybody has that misconception. It doesn't! It doesn't give more rewards! Is it faster? Yes! Does it give more rewards? No! It doesn't! God! It seems like every time we start fresh in Monster Hunter, that it always this this topic always comes back up. It does not give more rewards. <laughs> oh, what a whiff! Ah, uh, not real roar. But but there's the window that says extra rewards that came in the reward window. Yeah, and guess what? Is there a window that says carves? No. Okay, well. Yeah. You have to count the carves as well. Because if you capture, you don't carve. It's like, at maximum, every now and then, you might get one more reward, but every now and then, you also get one less reward. So basically, it's about the same. It's just faster. Still takes that long. But I have. I can just do this. God! Jesus Christ, I need to learn how to adjust these a little bit better. Come and get it, you prick bastard. Come and get it. Do it! Do it! Pussy! Yeah, that's what I thought. Pussy ass bitch. I know. I know, Roxlin. He's getting me. He's getting me bad. Okay. Fuck it. Let's go. Brrr.
Time to get more materials for free. Oh, and we actually got to see a new an, an animation that I haven't seen on PC yet. Oof. It's time to see the new animation, boys. You guys ready for it? Here it comes. doesn't change that much. That didn't really change that much. Watching this long sword all day for sure. <laughs> Whatever Q. Whatever Q. Charge blade's so much more fun. And how you doing, Cube? Hey Celsius, what felines would you recommend for Charge Blade as far as you can tell right now? I think that for most people will still be the gathering ones. I'm just extremely biased towards explosion ones, so I would either go one explosion, one gathering, one gathering, one trapper. Or, uh, you know, two gathers, maybe? I mean, I think the real min-maxi ones would be one gather, one trapper. But, you know, trapper, you can't trap Elder Dragon, so that becomes a little bit, uh, niche. But yeah. It also depends on the build you're going for. You might want, like, a fighter. Palico, if you're using, like, a, a charge blade that's got negative affinity. Because the fighter can give you positive affinity, so you could do like maybe fighter gatherer for really min maxi stuff. Fighter gatherer, double gatherer, gatherer bomber. It's like it's all viable. Actually, no, for real min maxi stuff, I keep forgetting. For real min maxi stuff, you want the dogs. Because, you know, if you look at speedrunners, they all have the dogs. I don't think you I don't think you would want the lance dude. I think you're lying to me. Do I get to craft the things now? All the things! Forge upgrade armor, forge armor, burp, 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 burp. Oh, Uruktor armor. Fire resistance. <laughs> I wish elemental files could crit. Wouldn't that be good? I think that'd be good. Seriously? We're still missing a rickrack? Oof. I'm not gonna get rapid morph too then. I don't want to be hunt Volvedon still the day I die. Maybe there'd be a Volvedon here? No. Ripperonis. Okay, we need two more. Different ones. Wait, what? Oh yeah, off your rocker. That's what we're gonna do now. This one's gonna be annoying with charge blade, I feel like. We're going to we're going to stick with the counter element here. I think we're gonna stick with the counter element here. I thought two times palicos were meta? No. I use two times palicos because it's more fun. Like, you need to understand, if you see me play a certain way, you c it's probably safe to assume that the way that I'm playing is not meta. I very rarely play the meta. Lagnia. Lagnia. Lagnia apple. Lagnia apple. Lagnia apple. Two times dogs with umbrella blitz scroll and status up. Yeah, that's what I would expect. That's legitimately what I would expect. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, gun lens is not meta? <laughs> gun lens is the opposite of meta. The literal opposite of meta. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, sure. I've been meaning to, like, change the skills on my Palicos for a while now. Lagni Apple. Do we have status up yet? Nope. But we can have Knockout King. But we don't have a... A staff type weapon. Okay, let's see if I can craft like a a bonk weapon for them. Haha, -ha, go bonk! Do -do 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 -do. Severing, severing, blunt. Bahabra. No, that's severing. Blunt. We're no plus. Froggy. Blunt poison. Very good. Very good. Blunt poison. Very, very, very good. Could probably do that one. Volvedon. Blunt paralysis. Sounds good to me. Gonna be missing on Volvedon materials though, which kind of sucks. Kinda sucks. Yeah, this would be really good. Maybe I will hunt another Volvedon. <laughs> Maybe I will hunt another Volvedon. That seems like a really good idea. <laughs> This is a Volvedon stream now, yeah. Ah, uh, we're looking good here. Part on quest. As per usual, guys, if you're enjoying the live stream, remember, hit that like button. Helps out a lot. Bellowing Boulder. Gunlines is getting more popular, even Heijay uses it now. Wait, what? When did Heijay started using Gunlands? This is news to me. I know that he used Switch Axe. Not Gunlands. Hello, Basarios. How you doing? Okay, so he's got real wars. Do you need guard up for that? Yeah. 
Dude, I can't aim friggin' SADs for the life of me. Okay, so that was a directional thing. Okay, elemental damage is gonna suck on him. Oh wow, really? That was great. That, that was fantastic. Poisoned, burning, dying, great. Good job. It has been a while since I fought friggin' Vasarios. SAD sucks? No, it doesn't. Oh, come on! Cut me some slack here, my dude. It's about to cut my friggin' head off, is what he's gonna do. Okay, you definitely need guard up for that. See, you de- Why? Why do I even listen to you guys? Why? Uh, now I was thinking like, well, maybe I was too in the attack. No, you need fucking guard up. You need guard up. Even if it's an AoE, you can block AoEs. But in this case, it's an unblockable. <laughs> I just think it's funny that a lot of you guys said, Oh no, you were ju it's just your blocking was wrong. And I, I looked at that block and I was like, I kind of feel like that would have blocked it. But maybe he was like, oh. Shouldn't have doubted myself. doesn't actually advance that much. I actually thought that I was going to get hit for that. Nip. Yes, I would need a water type weapon, but the fir I think the first elemental charge blade you can get is actually mm, the first water elemental charge blade you can get would be the Juratotus, which only shows up in high rank. Where do you know how to cancel SAD into AED? Yeah.
He still hits really hard. But we have the other camp now. Boop, boop, boop. Went the other way. Where are you going? so bad. You chop them down to size. Or can you abandon the gun lens? Why does everybody think I abandoned the gun lens? Gun lens is always going to be my main weapon. You guys understand that? Forever. It is always going to be my main weapon. Always, 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 always. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I'm just playing the Charge Blade because I didn't play it that much in, in the Switch version, and a lot of people complained saying it was bad.
Halu, if I played Gunlance in GU, which is one of the worst iterations of the Gunlance, I think I think I'm pretty much set. Do you think we actually have the technology now to choose right or left-handed hunters for the next mainline monster hunter game? Do you guys have like special controllers with the faceplate button swapped or what are we talking about? Because I always imagine that even left-handed hunters would just, you know, use a gamepad kind of the same way. Do you guys have like, do you guys swap like the D-pad with the faceplate? Thoughts for hammer? Super fun. One of the most fun weapons in Rise in my opinion. But then again, I didn't play it much. Models? Oh, for the character models. Uh, I don't know. Because, like, you guys know that there's a reason why they hold the shield in the, in the right hand, right? The reason they hold the shield in the right hand is because that's their dominant hand. And they favor defense over offense. The characters are not left-handed, they're right-handed. They just favor defense. Or at least that's what the developers told us. Insect Glaive is still right-handed. Yeah, because you don't block with the insect. So it's like you don't need your dominant hand to take care of blocking. If you don't need your dominant hand to block, then you can use your dominant hand to deal damage. Shields wouldn't do shit against the monsters in this game, you'll just end up killing yourself. Well, if you think like that, then the monsters in this game don't really exist because you're thinking in terms of real reality. You're thinking in terms of like realistic things. And if you are, then the monsters don't exist. If you are, then this wire bug doesn't exist. How the fuck is a bug going to support the entirety of my weight with armor? How? It's like every time people start debating the, the validity of shields and monster hunters, it always blo and, and monster hunter, it always blows me away. It's like so you're arguing the veracity of shields being effective against this mythical creature that doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> Here's the argument for you, buddy. Look, I don't think an insect should be able to support the entirety of my weight through some bullshit silk that it's spewing out of his ass. Also, I don't think that an insect that small is going to be able to spew this amount of silk mine bullshit. Look at him. Look at the amount of silk bullshit he's spewing. Look, look, here's another one. Look, wow, how, does the, how the fuck is this, this insect must have a ceaseless discharge of silk? Look at him go. Come on, dude. You can't, you can't think of it like that. This is a fantasy game. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, what are we attacking? Oh, yeah, we'll take the fire for this one. I don't actually know what he's weak to. I suspect it might be water. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. We'll just take fire. And then I still need to go back and do Volvadon again, though.
Flying sparks. I remember Toby Kadachi was a bit of a surprise in terms of difficulty. I was really surprised at how hard Toby Kadachi was. The first time I fought him. Oh. Interesting. Is he weak to poison? Must be weak to poison. Uh oh crap, I haven't unlocked this one yet. I probably need to kill Roggies in here. To unlock this camp. Well, might as well do it now. Get them Roggies out of the way. <laughs> I'm still not a big fan of Flooded Forest. Flooded Forest is one of my least favorite maps as well. Mostly because of the color palette. It's like you're playing Ge uh, Gears of War when you come to this map. Too much browns and... I don't know, just... I get the vibe that they're going for, and I think they nail it, but it's just not a very pleasing vibe. <laughs> Entropic Star Kid, thank you very much. Or the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Have two bucks. Insect glaive is left-handed. It is? Okay, that is surprising to me. I never really looked at it too much. Because I wouldn't consider the kinsect to be the most important part of the insect glaive. Get them Roggies. Someone tell me which weapons have viable elemental builds in Rise. It's like... Again, viable is a very strong word. The best weapon with... Um, with elemental builds, melee weapon is the dual blades, in my opinion. I would argue that you can also do some pretty good damage with um, sword and shield. Insect glaive. Long sword's a little bit more niche, but you can get away with long sword as well. Uh, I don't know about switch axe. I'm not 100% sure. I guess you could do some some decent damage with switch axe as well because you can have the elemental files. I'd have to look at like the weapon lists cuz I tend to constantly misremember certain things. Obviously the ranged weapons like bow, light bow gun, heavy bow gun, all of those can do decent elemental damage. Maybe not the heavy bow gun. Uh but light bow gun and bow definitely good elemental damage, especially with piercing um Piercing elemental ammo. <laughs> Not exactly sure what I'm doing all the way out here, by the way. But yeah, I'm looking for Roggies. Didn't even know I could come in here. Interesting, but it's all smashed to bits. But while I'm here, I could actually do something. Let me see if the rare bug is in his den. What? Oh. Yeet! Oh, the turtle is here. Hey, Cafe Puffin, what's up? Ha! 
We get a sword here. See you later, Kaloi Fortic. Is there anything you'd want to add for the gun lens to improve how well the weapon plays, or do you think the weapon's core fundamentals are the issue and should be reworked? Listen, the only issue with gun lens is that it doesn't deal damage. It's a numbers problem. There isn't really what I would consider to be a fundamental mechanical problem with the gun lens. There's a numbers problem with the gun lens. Like, for instance, charged shells are not worth it. Why not? Why are charged shells not worth it? It doesn't make any fucking sense that you can deal more damage um, without the, um, the use of charged shells. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Alicos, you guys are getting in the way. You guys need to come here and wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't attack it. There we go. All right, you can't see the... What? No, no. Get back in position. Need to capture the, the entirety of the wingspan. There you go. <laughs> One of the interesting things about the PC version is that I've actually found more hidden spots that I never saw on the Switch because I never given myself the trouble of finding, like, all of the swords and stuff. And on the Switch... Uh, on the PC, I've already found things that I hadn't found on the Switch. Which was very surprising to me. I did not expect that. Is there precedence of them nerfing or buffing damage? Yes, in World they did that. But I'm not sure if World was the first time or not. I think it might have been the first time they've done that. Not sure. I mean, usually they adjust it with the ultimate version, but in World, they did it, um, like they, for instance, they nerfed the amount of attack that you'd be able to get, the, the amount that um, files would scale from attack. I remember that nerf very distinctively because everyone threw a massive hissy fit. It's like, oh, a charge blade deals less damage now. And it's like, yes, you, you're no longer wielding a fucking nuclear device. Yes. Okay, let's go back to main camp because I see where Toby is. Oh no, I was still looking for the friggin' Roggies and I didn't find them. Oh well, we'll beat up on Toby a little bit and see if we can find some more Roggies along the way. I got distracted. Longsword nerfs incoming? They would have nerfed the Longsword long ago. I just think that they want the Longsword to be overpowered because it's like the most Japanese weapon. So to them it's like almost, oh this is our weapon. It needs to be powerful. That's the vibe I get from them anyway if you look at the way that Longsword performed in World. Longsword performed in GU, Longsword performed in Iceborne, Longsword performed in Rise. The vibe that I get is that most definitely they they just really like the weapon, and they want the weapon to be powerful. Which is fine, if that's what they want to do. It's like, okay. It's not like this is a PvP game, you don't need some freaking hardcore balance. It would just be good if, if a Longsword couldn't kill literally everything. Twice as fast as a gun lance. Like, how about it can kill it like two thirds faster than a gun lance or something like that, you know? Not two thirds, like. How about a gun lance can kill things at two thirds the speed of a, of a longsword? That's what I meant to say. Longsword's still the best, but at least the gun lance doesn't feel nearly as bad, you know?
Ow. See what I mean? The freaking Toby completely throws me off in Rise for some reason. Whereas in World, he was such a pushover in Rise, he's like, serious business. Dude, I swear, that... That friggin... Counter Morph Slash is gonna get me killed. Chi Yong Wen, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you later, Chermito. One of the things I always feel bad when I talk about this is that a lot of people... Like, they get offended because I'm, I'm saying that their weapon's too powerful. It's like, I'm not trying to discourage people from playing the weapon. I think you should play whatever's fun for you.
Oh, he's actually reasonably weak to fire. Come on, do it. Oh, really? Got him. I'm not gonna bother to go get another monster, just gonna get slammed into the wall. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> the co-op Kage, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. He's gone mad with power. <laughs> the weapon's a lot of fun is all. And it's like, you guys need to understand, I've always really liked Charge Blade. It's just, I liked Gunland so much more that I didn't even touch the Charge Blade. I've always liked Charge Blade. It's a lot of fun. The Rampage has returned. Just expected Magnamalo's ugly face is among the horde. Luckily, Haman's device is able to draw it away from the rampage and into a secret passage that leads into the shrine ruins. Rurikan, this is it. This is our chance with us. Accept the urgent quest from Hinoa and take down that fiend once and for all. For the villagers and for Kimura. Gonna beat his ass. Gonna beat his ass. His ass gonna get beat. Gonna get beat. I don't know what he's weaker to. I would imagine he's not gonna be particularly weak to fire. So we will not take that. Plants, shrooms, hunting helpers, hunting. That's that. 
Argento Questo! Comeuppance! You're about to get your comeuppance, buddy! Did you guys ever see the um, the podcast with Sox, the previous uh, community manager of Monster Hunter? Uh, in case you guys haven't seen that. In there, Sox actually reveals the origin of the Charge Blade. And for those of you that didn't see that particular podcast, uh, Sox asked uh, the, the director, I, I don't remember exactly which director created it, but he asked the director who created the, the Charge Blade, he's like, so what... What led you to creating this weapon? And he basically said, I just thought the sword and shield was ass, so I made a better version of it. <laughs> I was like, dude, what the fuck? Uh, what do you mean? That's not fair. I know he's weak to water. I know he's weak to water. But I don't have water, like I said. Water is going to be coming in with... Um, Water's going to be coming in with Juratotus, so that's going to take us a while to get, so we're going to go ice. Ice, ice, baby. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I don't think fire is going to matter for him. We're going to go defender low. Funny how Charge Blade is faring right now compared to SNS. Yeah, yeah. Sword and Shield is uh, has got better times in this one. And Sword and Shield is extremely fun. Barbarous beast. Elemental charge blades get constantly shafted. No, I think you worded that wrong. You should word that differently. You want to know how you word that? Elemental damage gets shafted constantly. With the exception if you're playing like dual blades or the ranged weapons. Elemental damage always gets shafted in pretty much every monster hunter game for some strange reason. I don't understand why. I really feel like elemental damage should be a much bigger part of what um, of what Monster Hunter is all about. I really need to get rid of that. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure... I think I would use... For Maggie? I think that for Maggie, I would actually use the chainsaw. So we'll actually swap that around. I agree. If elemental damage was good, you'd constantly be incentivized to change your weapon, and I think that would be a good thing. The way that it is right now, most people do, like, one raw mixed set, and then they never think about another mixed set ever again. They're like, well, I can kill everything with raw. 
I think most people don't even know the purpose of elemental damage in the game. They're like, why do I care about this sword dealing fire damage? Uh -huh. There's this other one right here. It deals blast damage, makes things explode, and at the same time has more raw damage. Why would I ever use the fire one? Okay, he's coming down. Am I really in combat? Come on, stop it. Be reasonable. Boop. Where kind do you think it's fun playing on keyboard and mouse, or do you think it's going to be complicated to play? I don't really play keyboard and mouse. To me, it's not fun, because I've always played Monster Hunter games with controller, and the shift to keyboard and mouse would just, like, completely destroy my gameplay. So, I don't tend to do that. But, I have heard from Fumito, uh, if you guys follow Fumito on Twitter, he literally said that he was not going to play the game anymore because of the fact that he couldn't... Uh, like, the keyboard stuff was not very good. It's like, I'm the wrong person to ask, because I never play mouse and keyboard in these games. But Fumito was not particularly pleased about it. Oh, right, the thing that I forgot to do. I wanted to swap these around. I actually didn't mean to come collect all these. I wanted to just go and swap things around. What? Oh, I already have two Blast Toads? Okay. No, I think my thing is full. But it's not of blast toads. It's got I got two Escurgos. So I can get rid of one. I can get another blast toad. So what controller are you using to play Dual Shock 4? Sorry, Andre. I don't know what uh, the problem is with that. I've spoken with the um, ER person from UK, and he's told me that the team is working on figuring out what is happening to those save files. Can I just, like, open up with this? Is that too dirty? Come on! I fucked it up. It's my fault. What is going on with this Maggie? He can't land a single hit? Oh my god, he's just targeting my Palicos. He's not targeting me at all. There we go. Now we're talking, buddy. Wow, Ice is not really doing it for us, huh?
Oh, wow. One? All right. Yeah. Oof, he is not weak at all. Not weak at all to ice. So he's not going to be weak to fire either. Oh, that kind of sucks. I should probably bring Impact. Impact gotta, is going to be my best option right now. Yeah, but I don't have a Thunder. Because, like, um... Toby Kodachi doesn't actually do thunder. Wait, does he unlock the thunder tree, I wonder? I should have checked if he unlocks the thunder tree. He might have. But either way, we're going to have to swap everything around. So we are going to need this. Froggy Helm is good. Volvadon Mail, sure. Uh, which one is this? Evade Extender? Rapid Morph? <laughs> I kind of want these two for the artillery, and then I'll keep that one for the one evade extender, and, you know, we're going to have to make them without rapid morph, man. It is what it is. Tis what it is. That'll be that. Then again, I haven't played Impact in a hot minute. Best you got. Run that by me again? What the fuck was that? Like, seriously though, I parried that and got one shot. I had Blight? I didn't notice I had Blight. That's how he fucking got me. But even then, I parried it. That's not fair. So, let me get that straight. He went through me. Exploded behind me. That sounds incredibly wrong. Which is why you guys will like that even more. But he went through me. Exploded behind me. And then triggered the blight that I had. Through that. Why do I not see the debuff on me?
I actually... Okay, I think I realized something. So, it's not just your name, it also shows your debuffs, because I can't see the fucking debuffs without that thing on, which I didn't know. Chap. I think that his charge blade is like one of the better raw ones that I can get for now. So I'll probably go for that. Just to have like an impact charge blade in low rank. If I get like his orb or whatever. Yep, now I can see the debuffs. See, the reason I died is because I didn't see I had the goddamn debuff. Now I can see. Bum, 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 bum. I have two palicos, Victor. Seriously, just ghost prisms? Geef orb. Geef orb. Bum 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 I think Magnum Allo is cool. Be so cool if I unlock the Puke gun lance now. This is the end, isn't it? I had forgotten that this was the end. We finished the game, guys. Good job, everyone. We did great. I think credits come way too soon in this one. Uh, 
佐藤さんに言われて考えたんだ佐藤を守るために自分たちにできることって何だろうってでも僕はお供のお世話しかできないし Two hours of gameplay. <laughs> It's still more like seven or something like that. Then I play like. I mean, you can you can get to the end real fast. But listen, this is not even. This is barely the beginning. No, this is not the whole story. <laughs> Anyone that thinks the game ends here? <laughs> I've played 700 hours of this game on Switch, dude. 700 hours. Okay? ケトレ。田村の里に代々伝わる宝刀だ。It's not finished, Will Albon. We're not even, we didn't even get the high rank yet. <laughs> Throw it in the bin in front of him. Yeah, that's what I'd do. I'd be like, yeah, this is real nice and all. Just leave it in the ground there. Wait. I, you can't skip the credits? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Refund. <laughs> Dude, I've just been thinking about that. I wonder how many people would, would actually, like, try to refund the game because they think that this is the end. This is not the end, okay? You can, it's a double input? Oh no, now it is. It, I wasn't able to do it earlier. It's like there's a full credits cutscene in my channel already. We already watched it. You know, it has five star quests now. Because of you, the fire of hope runs bright all throughout Kimura. Don't stop now. The hand me down sword. All long swords are hand me downs. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all them quests. Work on that sword. No, I don't feel incredible power. Yes, I'm the leader of the village now. What quests do we have now? Village quests. Narga. Noise. These go up to seven, if I remember correctly, right? Rugged full suit? Oh, this is for the Kahoot. Okay. What suits do we have for the Kahoot right now? Pet menu. Change clothes. Give me the rugged full suit. You go, Thancred. Oh, please tell me it's the, uh... Are you just gonna give it? The Kimura Hunter, and to get it, we need to gather info on those critters. Get a little hand. Twenty different species. I win!
What else you want? Anything else? Because, like, I know that he's the one who's got the, um, the quest for the corn popper. That's why I'm paying very attention to him. How much better would you say the PC version is, Rurikan? The PC version is like, it's, it's not how much better it is. Because the game is the same. It's literally the same game. The things that are better is visual fidelity and FPS. That's it. So it's like you get better resolution, high resolution textures, and a higher frame rate. That's what you're getting with it. And also the filters thing, but the filters thing's not really a big deal. Yeah, sure, you can have that. Not that it matters, because I don't really play with Palamutes, but sure, you can have it. He wants something as well. Complete eight side quests. I already did it. We can now craft the Utsuchi equipment. What else you want? Yep, 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 buddies. Okay, hire 15 buddies. I still haven't done that one. What else? Kimura ticket. These are the craft things. Okay. We're about to transform the whole place again. Yep. I know you did the Magnamalo Dango, which gives us feline moxie, which is very good. Somnicanth. So I gotta go kill us. Capture a Somnicanth. This is the one time that we'll capture something. What else? What else do you want? Renoplos. Sure, we'll kill Renoplos. We'll get a Renoplos egg. Oh! Rice Bane. This is the Charge Blade. Rice Bane Charge Blade actually looks really cool. We're upgrading our boys again? Okay, good. What else? Who else wants to talk to me? Okay, we need to unlock the third submarine? Yes! No. I think she just gave me new tradable things. These guys just wanted to tell me the same stuff. Okay. Oh, new dual blades. Stealth Dango. Okay, these will unlock as we advance now. That's fine. We're gonna keep doing village. And then eventually we'll just like do all of the things, get into high rank, boom. Boom done. But for now, I'm gonna be calling it here for today because uh, I need to go get some lunch, and then later today I have some stuff that I need to get done, so I am most likely not going to be streaming this afternoon. However, tomorrow morning, same time, we're going to be doing morning streams for a bit, because I need to spend some time with my family after not being able to basically be with them for two whole days. I want to make sure that I spend some time with my kids, so keep that in mind. I'll probably do some grinding off stream. But that is going to be it for now. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me. If you guys enjoyed the stream, do remember, hitting that like button helps me out more than you can possibly imagine. As does subscribe and hitting the bell notification icon so that you're actually notified when I go live. We do have a Discord in case YouTube does the, the usual thing of not notifying you when I'm going live. You can always pop up on the Discord because... I, um, I always announce there before I go live, so that way you'll get the notifications every single time, so keep that in mind. Thank you all very, very, very much for hanging out. I'm peacing out of here. See you guys later.